dream is live. You ready? Hi, my name is Fergus. I go by my gamertag FergusDKH. I'm from Ireland and my uh, achievements include being a technical tour finalist two years in a row and top placements in majors both locally and internationally. Atka Kazama. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out the website for all things FGC. So let's talk about Julia's neutral game and her key moves. So one of her key moves to start with is her jab. A jab is pretty standard, you know, it's always good to have. Plus one on block, plus eight on hit, right? The good thing about Julia's jab is while the range is not great, it does have really good follow-ups as 1-1-1. One, one, one. So on counter hit, this becomes all natural on counter hit. And it's, you can hit confirm it as well. And at the wall, it becomes a wall splat. As you can see. She also has 1 2. So 1 2 is nice because it has follow ups that you can delay. So if you get 1 2, 1 1. If, this, if the third hit is natural on counter, the whole string becomes a. The second and third hit becomes natural if they press into the third hit. So that's another nice thing about her job strings. So abuse them. The next thing I want to talk about is her elbow, her infamous elbow. It's good because it, you, it becomes that in 12 frame at fastest input. You can delay. If you delay the forward forward motion, it becomes super good with tracking. It's a mid, obviously. It's an elbow, so it can't be a reversal. And, um, you know, on block, it's only minus two. So you get, like, a really good situation on block. You can step or you can backdash to, to get around or mash. Or you can finish it on, on block to get a counter a combo. And also, um, you can also do stuff like Magic 4, which I'll talk about now. So Magic 4 is a land frame, you know, typical Magic 4. You use it to counter your opponent. She gets a combo off it, like a typical Magic 4. So you use this kind of like challenge your opponent from disrespecting you at plus frames or steal your turn back. So Magic 4 is another good option. Now, another move is Shotgun, which is done, which is done by Dan Dunford. It's good because you can do spin stuff on hit. So if you press three afterwards or four afterwards, she spins in a certain direction and you get like certain mix-ups off it. For example, into the two, into the into the hell sweep. It can also be done by manual three plus four if you want to go for like a spin mix-up without having to do shotgun. On counter hit, she has a hit confrontable follow-up, which is 41 damage and a wall splat. And the good thing about Dunford 1 is that if you do it out of block stun, it's always 12 frame. If you buffer a block string at a block stun, it's always 12 frame. Another move that you want to use is down for three. Down for three is good because it's a consistent 13 frame mid poke. If you're off execution with your elbow and shotgun, this is always a 13 frame mid that you can rely on. It down for three, one plus two is a natural follow up. Just be careful as it is launch punishable. What you want to do for low pokes with Julia is down three. Down three is strong because it's 13 frame and it's only minus one on hit. And on block, it's barely unsafe at minus 12. On counter hit, she's plus four and the opponent's encroaching, so they can't step in one direction. So you want to use down three to harass them and elbow, shotgun, down three to kind of harass the opponent with. So that's why they're, they're very, very good. How do you approach with Julia? So another one, one move that you can do is lashing arrow. Lashing arrow, it's a high, well, a lot of range. It's pretty fast as well. If they don't back roll, you can get um, four for two afterwards. If they block, Lashing Arrow can actually be uh, neutral or even plus from far away. As you can see, you can space it out to be plus at range. So Lashing Arrow is definitely something to use with Julia. Another approach tool that you can use with Julia is Running 1. So Running 1 gets a mini combo with Running 2-1 on block. It is plus 4 on block. So that means you can do 4 foot 1, you can do Shotgun, you can do down 3. To kind of harass them a little bit, especially at the wall, it becomes a lot scarier because um, it's plus four, as you can see. And then at the wall, you know, you get a wall splat with it. So, running one's definitely good to use. And another move I would recommend spamming with Julia is back four. Back four is a normal hit launcher, it's only minus two on block, so you can still do things. You can interrupt them, you can backdash, you can step, or whatever, right? And it, it gets a combo on normal hit, which is super good. 
and the recovery is surprisingly quite good for what it is. So yeah, these are all the kind of moves that I would use with Julia at neutral, at range. Now let's talk about her mix-up game. So her mix-up game is just as good as her neutral game. So you could, Julia's the kind of character that really controls the neutral well. And if she wants to go for mix-up and blenders, she can do that just as well. So let's talk about the, one of her main mix-up scenarios, which is bow and arrow. So from crouching, her bow and arrow is a low mid. That is natural on camp, on normal hit, and this situation is mid green. If they like to move on the ground, you can do demo plus two, which will hit them if they move on the ground. Now, when they don't want to move on the ground, you can do four for two. If you read that, they will stay on the ground to avoid the demo plus two. So, and at the wall, this is where this becomes a lot scarier because at the wall, four for three is always guaranteed, no matter what. So four for three is guaranteed against the wall, and it, as you can see. It flips it, it flips over into a very strong situation for her. Now, what do we do for mid options? Now you have a bunch of options. One of them is while standing four, which is a it's safe against 90% of the characters mid screen. And uh, so it's a fast, it's 11 frame, it's fast, you know, it's a good option to kind of keep them in check if they're just ducking. Another option that you have, which is really strong, is while standing three. While standing three is a 14 frame mid that's homing and it's safe. And it does that ballerina spin. So at the wall, you get a wall splat if you're close enough. So yeah, while sign three is a good option to have as a mid option if you want to keep it safe. If you want like a bit more of a risk reward kind of thing, if you do while signing one, you get a combo, right? So you get a combo if you do while signing one. The only downside is that it's minus 13 on block. So you would do this if you have a good reason that they will duck just be confident in the reads because like I said, it is launch punchable. So the other kind of cornerstone of Julia's mix-up game is her war drum. Now her war drum is done by doing 4-2. It's a low high as you can see and it has a mid follow-up. However, it is only natural if you space the war drum. So only the low connects is natural combo to the mid. So you can kind of guess why this is good because if you're at the wall with good spacing and awareness you have access to a low wall splat. So yeah, this is very, very good. It's good to be aware when to do this. So to mix up the war drum, normally a lot of people do like four for one or shotgun or whatever to kind of keep them honest, right? Like quick pokes like this. However, if you're near the wall, you can do something like shove. So her shove is like arguably the best wall bends in the game because it's safe on block. It's relatively fast for, uh, it'll come back in 14 frame at the fastest input, it's safe on block, it's a mid, it's a wall bends. So when you're in war drum spacing, like here, or like here, or no, 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 here. So if you have them scared about the war drum, like here at this range, you can use the same spacing to go for shove, or you can do stuff like 4-4 four, four into the 1 to hit confirm it. You can cancel if you mess up the hit confirm which goes into FC games. So let's, uh, that's a whole another like mind game. So let's talk about like mid screen options. So if, if they are ducking for the wardrobe, let's say for example of, so while standing for, so, so while standing for the tech roll, you're in space for wardrobe, right? So what would you do to, if they're crouching, you can do, f so downward one on crouchers will give you this, or if for easy mode, you can do down for three, one plus two. So if they, if you think they're gonna duck Julia, especially after like sidestep, where she has sidestep four as a low, you can do sidestep, and then down for one into plus fourteen crouching opponent, and then down for three, one plus two, or um, four for three. So yeah, that's kind of like Julia's mix-up game in a nutshell. Super strong. So this is Julia's main whip punisher and block punisher with down for two one. So that would be like her to go to combo. Like I said, her magic power is very important to do. So this is why. It's good damage for a magic power. So a hop kick combo. Her back four homing. Her four for one on counter hit. Her standard wall combo. 
a standard carry into the wall stomp. And the 4 for 3 is guaranteed as long as he timed the stomp to hit low on the ground. With regards to her strengths and her weaknesses, I mean she is a top tier character for a reason. Her strengths are very good. She is a very suffocating neutral that makes it hard for the opponent to play. Especially when her elbow actually can go under highs and jabs and stuff like that. So her neutral game is very suffocating and very strong. Her mix up game is just as deadly with the bow and arrow, with the with the crouching game, with the war drum setups. So her mix up games is just as good. And to top all of that off, she has very high damage output, one of the best carries in the game. She just hits like a truck off every launcher. So yeah, there's a lot to say about the character in terms of strengths. So she's a top tier character for a reason, like I said. So yeah, that's that's Julia's kind of strengths and weaknesses in a nutshell. In terms of weaknesses, I wouldn't say she really has any big weaknesses. Like the one kind of thing I could say is that her wild standing punishment is a little bit weak for 13 and 14 frame. But apart from that, she is quite really strong, really well rendered. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. And thank you so much for watching.